after creating the video for this this new car, I I thought about this for a, for a couple of hours, and I had to come back and do an intro because what what has just happened? My my brain had needed some time to really analyze this car because this car it makes the Tesla Model Y performance look like an absolute ripoff. It makes the Tesla Model Y performance seem like it is just mediocre and expensive and technologically a dinosaur, except for full self-driving. Of course, that's different. But in every other way, this makes other performance cars, other performance EVs, uh, performance BMWs, performance Porsches, it just makes them look pedestrian. This is the best value family performance car in history, and it's not close. I mean, when I say the best value performance car, family car in history, it's up here, and everyone else is down here. This sets the benchmark. There is nothing even within QE of this car. There's nothing close to this, and I still can't believe the price for what is literally a family supercar that charges in seven minutes. So Zika have revealed probably my favorite car, the updated version of the Zika 001. I've had more requests in person, via email, via messages for this car to come to Australia or anywhere, any other countries around, around the world than any other vehicle. And it's just received a major update. It's actually now the fastest charging electric car in the world. So, I mean, this was my, I'd say probably my favorite car before it, it before they had this update and now it's, it's just unbelievable. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking and this is the new Zika 001. I tested this car in China on a racetrack and it was amazing. The real wheel drive version was a lot of fun. The all wheel drive FR version of this car, the Zika 001 FR, which has 1,300 horsepower and ceramic brakes. That was just ridiculous. I think it was the craziest car I've ever driven, but it was crazy and, and very, very under control. Did not feel scary, which you would think, right? A, a car that can do zero to 100 in two seconds faster than any Lamborghini, any Porsche, any Ferrari ever made. You'd think it'd be really scary, but it wasn't. Anyway, what am I talking about? Let's talk about the new version of this car because that's what you're here to see. The 2026 Zika 001 has a 900 volt architecture, a LiDAR as well, and it actually starts at a price of 37,900 US dollars. So let's just call it 38,000 US dollars. But the cheapest version of this car at 38,000 US dollars gets a 95 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery with very, very high energy density. You'll see what I mean. The energy density of this battery means it actually has basically the same efficiency and range numbers per kilowatt hour size as the NMC version, which is really strange. Anyhow, if you pay more, you can get the max 103 kilowatt hour battery. Um, that's from Cadle as well. So, so the 103 kilowatt hour battery is an NMC battery, the, the cheering battery from Cadle. The 95 kilowatt hour battery is the Geely Golden Brick battery. Uh, it's the Aegis short blade battery. And because it's got the short blades, which is what you blade battery, it can charge in seven minutes, which is just, and seven minutes, we're not talking the ridiculous 30 to 80% numbers that people quote now, car companies quote. I'm talking seven minutes from 10 to 80%. <laughs> That's basically as, almost as fast very close to being as fast as an internal combustion car. There is four versions though. Like I said, base model, 95 kilowatt hour battery, all wheel drive. Then there is the max 103 kilowatt hour battery, rear wheel drive, the ultra 103 kilowatt hour battery, all wheel drive, and the ultra plus 103 kilowatt hour all wheel drive. So only one version has the 95 kilowatt hour LFP battery. The other three get the NMC battery. And you can see the pricing. The cheapest version, 38,000. Now, if you want to get, that's all-wheel drive though. If you want to get the rear-wheel drive, bigger battery, 103 kilowatt hour battery, it's the same price, 37,900. It's the same price because it's two motors and the base model gets LFP and it's all-wheel drive. So changes to the outside, not a whole lot of changes, pretty minimal because it's already a great looking car. The front bumper though now features a horizontal grille pattern, reshaped air ducts, 
very small changes. The rear bumper has removed triangular reflectors and it looks a bit cleaner on the back. Yeah, not a lot of difference, to be honest. New colors though, there is a mysterious purple color and star gray. Dimensions are the same. It's five meters long, 4,977 millimeters, basically five meters. It's, you could say a station wagon or an SUV, it's like a, a station wagon and an SUV had a child. And this is what it looks like. So it's a, a cross between those two types of cars. It's fairly wide as well. It's two meters wide, long wheelbase, three, three meter wheelbase. Inside, it's got a new layout. It's got a, a new 16 inch screen, 3.5K central touchscreen, a 13 inch digital cluster right in front of the driver, a 39.3 inch artificial reality heads up display, and an eight inch rear screen as well. Kind of like what you get in a Tesla. There is a 256 color ambient lighting system, a 29, yeah, 29 speaker Zika Sound Max sound system with 4,680 watts. Now guys, I have never heard of a car under $150,000 with 29 speakers, which is kind of seems like overkill, but I'm sure it sounds incredible. There was also a star patterned panoramic roof included. Star patterned panoramic roof. I'm trying to figure out how that would, if I'd like that or not. Anyway, the seats now have heating and ventilation and 3D deep tissue massage. I've never heard of a car having 3D deep, deep tissue massage, which sounds awesome. A lot of cars that have massage features and it does almost nothing. It just gives you a little rub. It's like a, it's like you, when your eight-year-old tries to give you a massage, you know, it's nothing really happens. But a deep tissue massage from your car, I'm all in for that because it's got it's got a um, really cool meditation setting as well. So you can sort of sit there when you get drive home from work or wherever it is and you're stressed and put on the deep tissue massage and put on that meditation. Uh, the meditation is really cool. It comes through the sound system. It's like a, th a 3D thing where it bounces off all the different speakers. So if you're, it feels like you're in the jungle and you can feel like a noise over there and then all of a sudden there's a bird over there and there's a bird over here and there's a bird over there. And of course it plays on the screen as well with the images and I think it, it's really cool. If you haven't tried it before, that's something you've got to try out. There is also power leg rests and foot rests and the front massage points. There was 10. There was 10. There is now 20. Yeah. 900 volt architecture replaces the previous 800 volt system. Dual motor versions have 680 kilowatt and 925 newt meters of torque. That's zero to 100 in 2.8 seconds. And top speed is 280 kilometers an hour. Now, this is not the FR version. The FR version gets a lot more power than that. But this is the standard version, right? If we're talking a vehicle for 40,000 US dollars, uh, no, 38,000 US dollars, that will do 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. <laughs> this is quite, it's crazy. I mean, in the past, to do 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds, you needed to pay millions of dollars for a Bugatti Veyron. Yeah, there was no other cars that could do this 10 years ago. Even less than that, 10 years. No cars other than the Bugatti Veyron that could do 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. Now, you can get one for 38,000 US dollars if you live in China anyway. So range, the bigger battery, the 103 kilowatt hour battery gets 810 kilometers of range and it can charge in seven minutes at 12 C. So that charging speed is approximately 1,100 kilowatt charging speed. I think this is the most technologically advanced EV in the world right now. I don't know of anything else uh, that has the combination of these features, these tech features plus all cars, right? Every model has dual chamber air suspension with a maximum ride height of 206 millimeters and 85 millimeters of adjustability, meaning this car can sit very, very low on the road because you can drop it all the way down to being 120 millimeters above the ground, which is extremely low. Plus, of course, if you want to drive off-road, 206 millimeters is not huge off-road height, but it's enough to do minimal, you know, basic off-road driving. It also has adaptive dampers, CCD adaptive damping, and uh, Zika's Smart Magic Carpet Control System, which is meant to improve ride. Anyway, guys, a car with these features all will drive zero to 100 in 2.8 seconds, 700 kilowatt of power, so about a thousand horsepower, dual chamber air suspension, for 38,000 US dollars. This is 
like ridiculous. This thing's like a supercar and it's 38,000. Anyway, let's look at that range again, guys, as well. Now, I know that range is CLTC, 810 kilometers, but that means that's going to be about 700 kilometers of WLTP range. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of the longest range electric SUVs in the world and the fastest charging. And it has dual chamber air suspension and it can do zero to 102.8 seconds. This is crazy. Driver assistance hardware is also pretty damn impressive. It has a Thor U chip with 700 tops of processing power, which is meaning it's one of the most powerful uh, processing chips in the world. It has 31 sensors, including LiDAR and blue light status indicators. Zika says older 001 models with LiDAR may later be retrofitted to H to H7, so the new chip. So that's pretty cool as well. I personally think that if you're comparing this vehicle to the Xiaomi Su7, this absolutely smokes it. It is, the Xiaomi Su7 is very, very nice. Very, very nice sedan. Um, even the Sh Xiaomi U7 as well. Very, very nice cars. But in terms of specs for what you're getting, I mean, this, comp this competes with the Xiaomi U7. It's a similar price, but it is far better. I mean, in terms of dual chamber air suspension. Uh, 1,100 kilowatt fast charging, seven minute fast charging, you know, 1,000 horsepower, 2.8 seconds, zero to 100. Uh, LiDAR, 33 sensors. Uh, this thing is just, honestly, there's nothing that really competes with this in this price segment that has this set of features uh, and this set of tech, this technology. Whatever Zika are drinking, I mean, give me some of this stuff because whatever it is, it's it's good. It's <laughs> it's It's something I need some of. Now, this car, guys, if this costs 38,000 US dollars in America, in the United States, in Europe, in other countries around the world, in Australia, imagine how many they could sell. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.